Hi everyone, Alex here. Today we're going to continue with our windows. This is part three. I'm going to be showing you how to modify window families and finishes. For that, I'm going to show you how to get into the family editor and modify finishes. And we're going to modify two different type of windows, uh, our white frame by Simonton and a darker frame by Lawson. So let's get started. And remember, this video is part of a Revit multi-trade from zero to a hundred course. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, go ahead and watch them now, because if not, you're going to be completely lost. Hi everyone. This is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right. So let me do a quick clarification here to avoid confusion. When I talk about single hung windows, what I mean is that a single sash is operational. So only this one can slide up and down. When I talk about a double hung window, that means that it's double sash. So both sashes are operational. This one can slide up and down and this one can slide up and down. But they're very, very similar. And in Revit, they're going to look exactly the same. Probably for scheduling, you want to have two different families. Now, as far as the finish, our older windows are going to be different from our newer windows. So our older windows have a white PVC finish and the newer windows have this dark aluminum finish. So for the older windows, we might be able to get away with what we have, but we definitely have to customize the finish for the newer windows. So let's do that. So like I mentioned, our double hungs, which are the older windows, can remain white. So we can get this family here, which is the double hung. So we can just click on the family, right click and do edit family. And then we can save this family with a new name. So we can save this as window double hung. And then we can say Simonton the H type, which stands for double hung, obviously. Now we can save. And for those particular windows, we don't have that two by two mounting pattern. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to remove this. I could probably hide it with a parameter or something, but I'm just going to delete it for this family. So I delete this and I delete this. You can see that this window has different components. It has this trim. Trim material is set to clad white. Then if I go a little bit inside, you see that this subcategory frame slash mullion has as material, it has wood stain set and similar to the sashes. If I go to the frame, you can see that the subcategory is frame mullion and the material is wood stained. So if I click here, I can see that there's a parameter called interior frame material and there's another one called interior trim material. So if I go here to create and I go here to my types, I'll see that under materials and finishes, this exterior frame material and interior frame material are set to a certain material that I could change here if I wanted to. And I could create a new material or I could change, modify this material because this is not really white, white. Just to make it a little bit cleaner, I'm going to duplicate materials and asset. And I'm going to call this clad white symptom. And I'm going to change that appearance color to white. Click OK. And I could have come here to asset and then look here for PVC. And here there's a PVC white. So if you click here and you click here on the arrow, so you double click on it, whatever, you would be replacing the current material with that asset. So this white cementon is now white PVC. So now let's click OK. And notice that if I click OK right now, I'm just changing this material, right? Because that's the one that I was modified. But if I go back here, but if I come here to interior frame material, and I also change it to the clad white cementon, click OK, and then the exterior trim material, also cementon, and then the interior trim material, also clad cementon, I click OK, and I click OK. Now it looks very similar to what I'm installing, right? So I can save one more time so that I have my family updated as per Simonton. And now I'm going to load it into my project. And I could come here and start creating a bunch of different types for this family. But every project is different, so I don't really think it's worth it. And since we want to eventually get to MEP, I'm just going to load this into our project. So I'm going to go load into project. And I'm just going to place it right here. Let's go to 3D. And then I have my old family here. See, double hung. And then my new family here, double hung Simonton. So I'm going to delete this one. I know I'm not going to be using this one. Actually, just to avoid confusion, I'm going to come here to my families. I'm going to come down to windows. And I'm going to go to double hung and I'm going to delete it from my project. Now it's warning me that one instance will be deleted because it's, this one is that one. So that's fine. Delete. And now let's modify the finish of the newer. Have this very dark aluminum finish. It's almost black. Yeah, but in reality, it's like a very, very dark brown. But it's almost black. So let's go ahead and let's start with the fixed pane. Let's get this guy and let's do edit family. And now let's do something similar here. First, let's see how the materials are being applied to the elements. So here, the material is pathed to trim. And if I go to trim, it's trim exterior material and trim interior material. So let's go to our types. 
and then here are materials and finishes and we have glass we're not going to touch that we have the sash material we have trim exterior and trim interior so let's go ahead and change the trim first so let's click here and it's too very similar to what we did before and then since this trim material already has an image associated to it with some stain and it looks a little bit too much like wood right so i don't want to use this so it might be worth just creating a new material or maybe duplicating something that looks similar to that so let's see but well, we have this one for sliding doors. We could probably create a duplicate of this and just call it trim blossom. And now we could modify the color here and let's just give it a very dark color, very close to black. Let's click OK. Let's click OK. Let's see how this looks. Obviously, to see the change, we have to come here to graphic display and change it to realistic. You know, that's not bad. So I'm going to change everything to that material. So let's come here and then our trim material. I'm going to change to trim lesson. Click OK. I could have done both at the same time, but I like to see how everything changes little by little. So I come here, I go to the sash material, and I change that to trim lesson as well. Click OK. That's looking very good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and save this family. And this one's window fixed Lawson 6200 series. I click Save. Now I can load into project with my new properties and our new name. And I'm going to place it right side by side to the original one. So let's go to our 3D view. Let's take a look. Hmm. It seems like it didn't take the material like it did in the previous one. And it may be because this material has been defined in the project. So let's see. Let's go to object styles. And let's first make sure that there is not a parameter associated. Let's go to windows. Let's go to trim. So there's nothing here driving the show object style wise. So this might be a matter of having a material here. Let's see. So here's trim. Right? And here's Trim Lawson. So let's see. Let's let's forget about our old one. Actually, let's keep our old one here as a reference. And let's go to our new one, which is the Lawson 6200 series. Let's go to Edit Type. And it seems like it didn't remember that I changed the material. So let's go ahead and change that again here. Fortunately, we brought with the family our new material. So I'm going to change this to Trim Lawson. This to Trim Lawson. And then the sash. I could probably define a sash Lawson, but I think it would be a waste of time. Let's just do Trim Lawson. Click OK. And that's perfect. So let's forget about this old one. That's the fix with trim. So let's go down to our windows, fix with trim, and delete. Yes. Now let's jump to the next one. The next one's this one here. And since we already have the material in the project, I'm just going to come here to edit type and I'm going to change those materials here. So glass panel material remains the same. Interior material, I'm going to change to trim Lawson. Exterior trim material, also trim Lawson. Interior frame material, also trim Lawson and the exterior frame material also to trim Lawson. Let's click OK. There you go. Very good. Let's move to the next one. And then what you can do is if you like this finish, you can just do edit family and then save this with a new name, which is the single home from Lawson, which is a 7700 series. Let's just put Lawson in front. And before we put a little dash, and then we save. Now we can close this. Let's go with the horizontal slider. We do the same thing. Edit type, exterior frame material, trim Lawson, interior frame material, trim Lawson, exterior trim material, trim Lawson, and interior trim material, also trim Lawson. Okay. There we go. We do the same thing. Edit family. We want to save this as the Lawson 8700 series. And then finally, we have that end vent slider. So we click here, edit type, materials and finishes. So this, I'm going to change to trim Lawson. This, I'm going to change to trim Lawson. This, I'm going to change to trim Lawson. And this, I'm going to change to Trim Lawson. Very good. Now we do Edit Family. And this one's interesting. This one didn't take the material. So we could probably come here and then just overwrite. Go down. Trim Lawson. Trim Lawson. Trim Lawson. And Trim Lawson. Now we can save. Keep the same name and just add Lawson combo 
click save we already have it in our project so we don't have to load it I'm just gonna close out of here and now let's start placing our windows now make sure you visit bimitup.com over there you'll be able to log in if you already have login information or if you want to become a member you can sign up with Google Facebook or with your email address and once you're a member and you're logged in you have access to a lot of good features you can access your bookings from here you can go to my programs and even some free ones that I offer there I'm running a little bit of a scholarship program here because I don't want money to be the reason why you cannot develop professionally. So these are all the programs that I'm a participant on and these are the ones that I have completed. So go ahead and visit bimitup.com. Becoming a member is free, but I do not run ads in any of my stuff. So the creation of the content is made possible entirely from patrons and other contributions. So if you can, consider subscribing. I'll leave a link in the description of the video and I'll see you soon.